Let's start out with this little grocery haul, but let's talk about, we're gonna be doing salads all week this week. So, quick grocery haul. So we already have things in the kitchen for salads, but we went to Walmart, my daughter and I, Mariah, um, and we got some things for salad. We to add. So we got lettuce. We already have romaine lettuce, but we got some more lettuce. They're going to chop this lettuce up. Hopefully this lettuce will last, but I figured that they'll probably use this lettuce um, within a day or two and I'll have to get some more lettuce, but we'll see. Um, we got some cheddar cheese. Some breast breaded chicken tenderloins. So Mariah wants to make a salad like ye old fashioned. Um, wonton shrimps for me. Just some, I like to add little crunchy things to my salad. And then while I'm looking at the bag, it only has four grams of carbs. So I was like, okay. Um, my husband wanted steak um, strips for his salads. I got some seasonal rotisserie chicken. Just um, any one of us can. We're gonna be doing this all week, so we're just a different variety of salads. I got chicken fajita. Oh, I thought I got two different kinds, but I got the same kind. That's all right. Um, my oldest daughter she wanted some these honey roasted uh, pecans, so I tried to get things that everybody could like to make it you know enjoyable. I needed some more granola for yogurts. Um, Mariah wanted some pineapple slices, so I got that for her. Two cucumbers. We're definitely probably going back to the store throughout this week to get some more items, but let's just start us off. I got some of this for our water. We like to put this in our water every so often. Got some banana peppers. And some cherry tomatoes, or grape tomatoes. Mariah wanted um, some of these for a like a snack. Um, it's fruit bars. So I had like um, a popsicle, and she got the mango as well as the pineapple. We got some bacon pieces. We try to get the reduced sodium to cut back on that. It's, so yeah, so five percent. So we're in this pro, um, program called the Family Program, and our um, new. Um, our coach, sorry, my dog is drinking some water right now, so if you hear that, sorry. Our coach, um, he said to pay attention to the percentage, the daily percent, daily value percentage, and if it's anywhere between um, 0 to 5, I mean 0 to 20, anywhere under 20% is, is okay. So this this should be okay, right? All right, so we got two packs of that. Mariah needed some more to order, so we got some to order. And got some apples for snacks. Then I got some kombucha, um, the Remedy brand. And I got the raspberry lemonade and the mixed berry. Got five cans of that. Oh, and then, so this right here. So one thing that we're doing with the Fit Family program, Mariah and I, we said that we're going to drink a protein shake in the morning for breakfast. We're just trying this out for this week. We're going to do a protein shake for breakfast and then salad, at least one salad a day. It might end up that we do two salads a day, but at least one salad a day. So she picked out, no, I picked out this one because it was on sale. You yeah, know, I'm a sucker for a sale, but I looked at the, uh, <laughs> the supplement facts and it seemed to be okay. Um, I usually get the Aldi's brand. But this one seems to be okay as well. So, um, protein, it has 25 grams. Here's the facts there. And it's the, did I already say that? It's the glazed donut flavor. And then Mariah picked out this one. She wants the Ghost brand. We'll buy that later. We thought they had some in Walmart, but they didn't. So, she got this brand. And here are the facts on this one. It's about the same, it looks like. That is our quick grocery haul to start us off with salad week. We're going to try to do one salad um, per day, at least. And then if we can, we'll do you know more. We'll do uh, two salads per, per day. So we're just going to start this off, you know, trying to trying to just incorporate different things. Our coach, he told us to choose one thing. So he, we chose um, one thing off of his list, and I'll put his list up here. And um, we chose... I. We said we'll work together. So I chose a, um, a one salad a day. She chose a protein shake, one protein shake a day. And um, so, but we said we'll do it together. So we're doing this together. 
So, oh, welcome, 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 welcome. My name is Patrice, the Patrice Denise, and I'm over here living a healthy, sustainable life, one day at a time, one step at a time, trying to incorporate different things along the way just to remain, uh, keep it keep it fresh, keep it, you know, interesting for me with this journey and also to, um, you know, make it sustainable where I'm not, I don't restrict myself. If I feel like I want to try something or have something, I do it so that I don't uh, binge because that's what, you know, I feel that I would do if I restrict myself. I'll just go off the deep end. So I try not to do that. Uh, I just try to live in moderation. Sometimes my moderation can be <laughs> a little over this side. And it needs to be a little more on this side. But it all, you know, bounces out along the way. And I am on the medication Manjaro. I have been on this medication now for over a year. And I would say going on four months, a year or four months. And... It has uh, really helped my blood sugars to get under control, and so I'm grateful for that. Very grateful for that. I do have a doctor appointment coming up in about a month, and I will definitely update everyone on the stats of my labs. Um, A1C, my A1C right now is 5.4. That's with the Fit Family program, but my A1C with my uh, provider, my doctor who actually prescribed the Manjaro, is uh was 5.6 back in november so i did get my a1c drawn with this program that i'm doing with my daughter and that was um back in march early 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 march really you know right beginning of march and that was 5.4 so i'm curious to see what it will be coming up let me put these groceries up and we will have our first salad for salad week the, oh this is the evening time so it is um the evening time so i did today already had breakfast for breakfast i had a yoga bowl and that was in my previous vlog and um for lunch believe it or not for lunch i because i had breakfast was a late breakfast believe it i haven't eaten since then besides popcorn so i had some popcorn um i had some kettle corn over the weekend from a festival i went to and i ate the rest of that kettle corn and so this is my first meal besides the yogurt today i just wasn't feeling hungry i don't know what it was um today but oh no i had a banana too so I did have a banana too. I might have another banana here before I eat my salad. That's what I'll do. I don't know, just to get something in. But tomorrow morning, I will definitely have that protein shake and I'll show you guys the salad that I have tonight. I don't know if I wanna do, I was I was wanting tuna all day. But I don't know if I wanna do tuna or have some of the chicken. We'll see, I'll show you. All right, my salad for the evening is um, romaine lettuce, spinach is in there. I have fried onions. These are the fried onions, these little things like this. Um, tuna, so this is the tuna that I used. It's the zesty lemon pepper tuna. Here's the specs. And I have an egg, that's one egg cut in half. Cucumbers are in there. Oh, y'all can't see it, but there are some um, cherry tomatoes in there. Grape, grape tomatoes is what it's called. Um, what else? That's it, I believe. And I'm gonna put on this dressing. This is a sugar-free sweet vinaigrette by uh, G. Hughes. All right. My family over here, they're doing theirs as well. Let's see what they got. And here's LJ's. He has uh, chicken tender with lettuce, cheese, and honey mustard. That's his salad for the, the evening. Can they see you? <laughs> there we go. Good morning. So I just did my, well not just because it's uh, 10 o'clock. I did my cardio for this morning. My daughter and I, we are trying to make sure we get our steps in. She is at a goal or uh, she trying to reach a goal of getting in, I think hers is at 6,100 steps a day. Mine is at 10,000 steps a day. So what I try to do is I try to get at least 6,000 steps in the morning during my cardio time. 
And then that way, as I walk around uh, for the rest of the day, then I'll, you know, I can get the other 4,000 steps. So, and usually I do get over it, over that, but sometimes um, I'm cutting it close at the end. But right now I'm at 7,064 steps. What I'm going to do now is make me a protein shake. So remember yesterday I showed you Mariah. She, she wanted this one. My daughter, she wanted this one. She tasted it and she didn't like it. I'm going to try it. Because what she did this morning, because she already went to school, she took a protein shake uh, with her out the door. What I'm going to do, uh, she used my old protein shakes that I got right here. I have a few, uh, maybe, probably one more, one more scoop left in there. But she used the vanilla and she said she liked it. What I might tell her to do is um, add some... Add some uh, banana or something to it to try to see if it helps. But I'm going to try this one out and see how that tastes. I'm just going to blend, blend it in this um, magic bullet here. And this one says it's good with water or beverage of choice. I'm going to add almond milk. It smells good though. It definitely smells good. So a scoop of the protein powder. Let me get a cup of, what did it say? A cup of protein, I mean a cup of um, almond milk. Let that blend for a second. So let's see how it tastes. The salads yesterday were good. So the family, they did, we have a place called Yield Fashion here. And they have like a uh, fried chicken tender salad and they wanted to try that, but they like that. So I did my tuna while they did that, which was fine. But, um, Today for lunch, I think I'm going to cut up some squash and onions as well as some broccoli because I need to cook it because I have, I don't want it to go bad and use, do I have tuna? I think I do have tuna steaks in there or something. I'm going to use something in there and a rice packet, a little rice packet. We'll, I'll show you at lunchtime, but. I need to use that squash and that broccoli. The uh, a radio station was talking this morning about this is this is good actually. Actually, you know what this tastes like? I mean, it does say cinnamon toast. Cinnamon toast crunch. This tastes like this tastes just like cinnamon toast crunch. In a way, I'm scared to drink it because I think it's gonna make my blood sugar go up. But let me see. <laughs> It's only three, three, three grams of carbs. Uh, dietary fiber is one gram. Total sugars is one gram. This tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. I wonder why she didn't like it. I like it. I like it. So. Um, but this radio, I mean, let me go, let's go into my office. All right. So, oops. So like I was saying, a radio station, um, that I was listening to this morning, they were talking, Ricky Smiley. So I don't know if you know the Ricky Smiley morning show, but they were talking about, um, the economy and how it's just, you know, it's getting tight for everybody out there. And what are you doing to help with what's going on in the economy? Like, so are you like cutting back? Are you um, budgeting? Are you um, just different things? What are you doing? So what are you doing? This economy is getting tight. Like yesterday you saw my grocery haul. Guess how much that was? That was $174. 
$174 worth of groceries, which was not a lot. Like, okay, the protein shakes, okay, that those those were $40, $50 worth of the groceries right there. So let's just say, and then Mariah's order was $14. So let's just take out $50 and $14. let us just take out $65. let us just take out a whole $74. $100 worth of groceries. A hundred dollars worth of groceries, um, and that wasn't not a lot. It was like you know the vegetables, uh, the lettuce, the, um, well, I guess it all adds up. I don't know, but it was a lot. It's, I mean, it wasn't a lot, but it was a lot of money, right? So, I've been trying to budget. I've been trying to do like the cash stuffing method, where I uh, take out cash and only can use this amount of cash for what um, I allotted it for throughout the. Um, I get paid every two weeks. Um, my husband, he's a little skeptical of it, so he'll just give me what I need, like, for grocery shopping yesterday, he'll just add to that and, and what, what not, but, um, because he doesn't like to use cash, which is fine, but, what are y'all doing, so, uh, I, I follow Budget Treasures, um, on YouTube, and she, um, was just talking today in a video, I was listening to that while I was doing my cardio, she was saying how you can call a different companies like if you have your internet company or your cable company or you just call different companies like that and see if they'll give you a, a deal or a uh, prom promotion for like a year or two and that'll help cut down the cost but this, this economy is something so i'm trying to budget i'm trying to do like low spending or only do budgeted spending and i mean that has helped i have um been able to free up some money that way and I'm um, paying, you know, some debts down. So I, I'm happy about that. But this economy is something. So and we can't, we can't be spit, uh, 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 wasting no money. So Mariah's going to drink this, um, protein shake that she asked for. <laughs> Here's lunch. So I sauteed some spices. Um, oh, I could have added spinach to give it color. I was about to say spinach, but I should have added spinach to give it color. But I sauteed this, some squash and some onions, and then I have this uh, long green and wild rice that I got from Aldi's. You just put it in the microwave, and I used about one third of it. And here's the oops, no, see that. And here's the nutrition facts for this. And then I have some tuna steak that I seared and kombucha. So here is my lunch. And later on, if I have a snack, I'll show you guys. But I'm ready to get into this. Quick little snack. So I decided to start my nails. I got this nail polish, remember? Oops. In another vlog, Nail Reserve sent me this. And I actually used... Um, this now twice so I when I went to my anniversary trip I painted my nails just clear but um, I wanted to add I, I wanted to like do a tip but I didn't want to just do a white tip um, because I do have to work my part-time job this weekend and you're not really supposed to have color um, on there and so this is kind of you can't really see it and tell it but I added a sticker or, or nail art to it I had these I got I got all this because I had uh, gel nails before and then I just added what nail reserve sent me but I have these little stickers here and I've been putting the hearts on it can you even see it <laughs> like I got like a little tip at the top and then the little heart there it's not professional but it's fine and it's it's not you know as noticeable so that I can still wear this to my job on Saturday I like it. So my husband, he just texted and he was like, taco salad tonight. So I think he's going, we're going to have taco salads tonight. So I will show you guys that when we, when we eat. May I help you, LJ? I think LJ was, let's, LJ, I don't know if y'all noticed, but LJ never had, um, I wouldn't say never, but he hasn't had his two front teeth in a long time. But look, show them LJ. LJ is getting his front teeth in. Uh -huh. It finally came in. Finally came in, LJ. All right, let me finish. And then taco salads tonight.
Here is my salad for the evening. We're making taco salad. So I already have cucumber, tomato, and banana peppers beside, and, and then also the romaine lettuce and the spinach. I'm going to add a few forks full of the onions that I just chopped up. I like onions, if y'all haven't noticed already. <laughs> And then I'm going to add some corn. I just microwave this corn up. And this is um, 50 calories. As you can see, a nice little serving size. Try to make it a little Mexican salad here. It's actually a lot of corn. For the dressing, I'm going to be using this um, aged balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Here's the nutrition facts. Yeah, I think I did I get this from Aldi's. I probably did get this from Aldi's. And then I'm going to finish with uh, the ground beef that has taco seasoning on it. So here is my taco salad. Good morning. So I got my cardio all done. I'm feeling kind of good today. I got on my thankful shirt. I saw this when I was getting dressed. It's sitting there hanging up. And I was like, oh, yes, this, I am feeling good and thankful. I thank the Lord every day for another day. And I was just feeling nice. It's supposed to be like a Thanksgiving this shirt, but I was feeling sporty today. So decided to put this on. I have, so yesterday, Mariah, when she came up from school, my daughter's Mariah, when she came up from school, she uh, wanted to have another protein shake. So she did, and she said she wanted to try mine because remember yesterday, she I told you she didn't like the cinnamon toast one as uh, much. I thought it was really good. It tastes just like cinnamon toast crunch, but so she wanted to try the donut. It was called don glazed donut, is what it's called. The one I showed y'all um, in the hall. So this one, I mean, it 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 um, when I put it in, it foamed up real because I only put like this much almond milk in it, and then it, it this is like it foamed up. So it looks like a lot, but it's really this much almond milk and then the one scoop. But I wanted to try it. She said it was good. And she took another one to school this morning. So let me see. Okay. I see why she likes this one. Because this one is a little more milder in the taste. That cinnamon toast, like I said yesterday, was really sweet. This one is a little more milder and more like... Um, the van it's not vanilla taste, but it reminds me of like how the vanilla is kind of mild. You see? And it's good. Do I taste glazed donut? If I'm thinking of a glazed donut, maybe, but not really. So, <laughs> but it's good. I can do this one. I could do this one more than I do the uh, cinnamon toast. But we're gonna eat, drink, however you call it, both because that other one was thirty-two and this one was twenty-one. So about fifty dollars, fifty-five dollars all together. So we're gonna drink all. You know, <laughs> today for lunch, I'm just going to have the same thing I had yesterday. I'm going to sear another piece of tuna and have that squash and onions and uh, the leftover of my rice. Get that all out the way. 
And then, um, I'll see what kind of salad we have. I'm enjoying salad week. Just, you know, we think of just different salads. Like on Tuesdays, we normally have tacos. And so instead of having a taco taco, we had the taco salad. So that was good. The only thing I was missing was guacamole. I didn't have any avocado to add to it. or I, And I didn't have any guacamole. So, but it is what it is. But uh, I am proud of my children, Mariah and LJ. They had MAP testing this week. And MAP is uh, Measures of Academic Progress. It's an online test that they do at school. And they do reading as well as math. And in yesterday, LJ had... Um, which one he had? He had the reading. And reading is LJ's um, subject that we, we, we have to work on. He, math whiz, he's a math whiz. He can do math in his head. He He's good at math. The reading is the part that he, um, where we're working with him more. But he went up 15 points. I was really excited for him for that. And then Mariah had her math math test today and... Even though she's not supposed to be doing this, I know. She texts me from school. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I think she's using her watch, though. But she's still not even supposed to be doing that. So I told, I tell her all the time, if you get caught, that's that's your phone. You're going to pay that $25 to get it back because they got to pay $25 to get it back if they get caught with their phone in middle school. In high school, I think they can have their phones just not, like, just out and about, like, all the time in class. But I think they can have it. But she'll be in high school next year. So she texts me saying that she went up today and she went up five points from her last previous score. So I'm happy that they are increasing in their math score. So that's good. And now, like I said, it's measures of academic progress. All right. I'm about to record the week 71 update, my update on my health journey. So um, I know that one probably will air before this one because I recorded on Wednesdays and then I posted on it post on Thursdays. So, um... Yeah, let me just get to that because in a second I got to go pick up LJ because it's a half day today and um, then I need to get back to work. So let me record that and I will see you guys at lunch. Repeat lunch from yesterday, tuna, squash, onions, and the rice. from the dentist and this side of my mouth is numb so it feels like I am talking weird so I'm going to talk real fast um, I had to get a fill in fix that um, he did a fill in about less than a year ago and um, when I went to the dentist the other day they said it was shaky so he wanted to take it out and put it back in no charge to me because he said it probably was his fault because it's been less than a year so um this, this side of my face is numb so i am going to have a shake for breakfast you saw my salad last night um that was air fried chicken uh frozen uh rotisserie chicken the, you know the ones that cut up in the strips um i showed that in the hall at the beginning of this video um that's what that was on top and all the little fixings was um, there as well. It was really good. And um, what I am noticing, because I'm not having a lot of carbs at night, I'm noticing, I can tell when my blood sugar drops in the middle of the night because I get all sweaty and clammy. You know, it's a sign of hypoglycemia. Um, and um, 
but then I guess my blood sugar rebounds and it goes back up um, to compensate because when I got up this morning, it was 93, I think, when I checked it, when I, when the fasting. So I wonder if it drops and then goes back up. So um, I just have to be mindful of that as I uh, continue with the salads at night. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and get... Um, I'm sorry, I'm talking slow. I know me talk a little faster than this, but I'm talking slow because this side of my face. But I'm going to go ahead and get the shake. And I'm going to um, drink the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Shake for lunch today. Um, I'll probably have another shake because this is still my face will still be like this. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to do the protein shake right now. I am going to get into my work day and get started. I have already done my cardio for today. Let me see. see what time it is? 9.50. I got to the appointment at 9 o'clock and back home by 9.50. So I already done my cardio for today and uh, 46 minutes, of, 45 minutes of that. And I got in my steps for the day so far. I am at 6,826 steps. So we are on our way to getting $10 steps for the, for the day. But let me go ahead and make my shake and get to work. And hopefully this will be... Um, Oh my gosh, like my tongue is so heavy, your face is, yeah, hopefully this will be all resolved and, and, and gone by the time we get to lunch. So I am eating lunch. It is, ooh, this, I put the salmon in the air fryer and it is hard, <laughs> but it, it's all right. So I have some, um, Fried, um, what am I talking about? I have some sweet potato fries and a piece of salmon, and I have a dip. Um, it said money, good money, but it said it's Cajun, like a honey Cajun dip. It was just in the refrigerator. My husband probably bought it, and it was good, so I'm using that for my dip for my fries. But the um, it is 4.25, and besides this, y'all you saw the protein shake. Besides this, I had some kettle corn, popcorn, and it's from, yeah, I don't know if y'all have it in your, well, it's all um, over the United States, I believe, but it's a fundraising popcorn. It's called, I'll put it here, but I'm, I had half a bag of that on my way to pick up LJ from school, so this is what I'm having. I guess I left my salmon in the air fryer too long. Not sure. Not sure what type of salad we're gonna have today, but I'm enjoying salad week because it's um, quick and easy. You don't have to do a lot. My husband, he makes himself have to do a lot. He just likes to cook, so instead of him just using the meat that's there, he has to fix the meat up some type of way and make it more than what it is. Just fix the salad. <laughs> Y'all saw my salad. I just put the, uh, the toppings on. Put the meat in the air fryer and now that no he's over there sauteing uh the steak and in the in the chicken just make the salad right but we'll see what's for salad week or sal we'll see what salad we have tonight Sorry about the lights, but I just finished my cardio. Did 45 minutes. Waiting for my daughter to get finished so she can go to school. Um, it is 8.17. It is 8.17. But, um, so, in the, in the evening time, I want to come back on and talk, but 
so much be going on. But the salad I had last night, I used a tuna packet because I didn't feel like cooking any meat. Um, and that was um, the sweet and spicy one. And yes, it definitely was spicy. It did have a kick to it. And then I put the vinaigrette that I'm using on top of that. Uh, so the plate was full, but the whole bottom was the romaine lettuce and the spinach um, to kind of cover the whole plate. And then what I had to do, because I like my salads to be mixed up real well, I had to, I was trying to eat it off the plate, but I just went ahead and dumped it into a bowl and went from there when I ate it. But yes, so I'm reading... This book right here, this is the cover. The book is actually in my bedroom, but I'm reading Woman Evolve by Sarah Jakes Roberts, and I was reading that last night. And the part that I'm on, she's talking about allowing negative thoughts to creep into your mind and how that will change your like environment. So we got to be mindful of not allowing negative thoughts of ourselves or negative thoughts of our situation negative thoughts uh, you know in general to creep in because once that does it, it would it would make us question what we're doing make us question the progress that we're making and just make it make us question everything and then and then it takes over and we don't want that to happen so definitely am enjoying reading woman evolve and she's talking about eve she's focusing on eve and um how Eve, she allowed that negative thinking or she allowed the serpent to make her question her truth. So we got to be mindful of that. But um, she's, you know, talking about Eve and focusing on Eve and how Eve was able to overcome what um, happened and what she did. So, all right, time to take, it is now 8.19, time to take her to school and then I need to get ready for work. Carried the winds, drummed out the rain. It don't make sense after the pain. Will color me blue, then tickle me pink. Cause who knew that at the brink of the It's 6.09 in the evening. I am working on some editing for my church. I help with the, the social media and uh, like technology kind of things for our church. Um, and, and I was just editing a reel that is going to play for our pastor. I want you to hear. Let me see if you can hear this. Um... It, uh, it kind of, it goes back with what we were talking about earlier with um, negative thoughts entering your mind. And the sermon that he spoke, the title of his sermon was, I am a giant killer. Giant. So um, he was using the word giant in the, you know, now, you know what? Look at this. The devil is a liar. My computer just went blank. Because I'm going to share with you guys what I wanted to share with you. But I'm going to turn it back on and we're going to still um, do this. All right. Give me one second. All right, we're back. So it was, uh, we were talking about negative thoughts entering to our mind. And negative thoughts and allowing those things to take over your thought process and what you believe to be for yourself is a giant. And he, like I said, he was using giant as a um, noun, as a noun, a person, place, a thing, um, and not a adjective. So he was, you know, saying a giant, I am a giant killer. So let's listen to this. Let me bring it a little closer so you can hear it. What are some of the giants that we face? Oh, hallelujah. Well, there's the giant of resentment. There's the giant of fear. There's the giant of loneliness. 
There is the giant of guilt and shame because of past sins. There's the giant of worry. There's a giant of discouragement. There's a giant of jealousy. There's a giant of depression. There's a giant of hopelessness. There's a giant of bitterness. There's a giant of pride. There's a giant of selfishness. And there is a giant of doubt. Now listen now, I don't know which one you are facing today. But Yahweh sent me to tell you that he has given you the power through the Holy Ghost to overcome it today. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Your giant will fall today. Amen. So, and that list is not all-encompassing. It's other things out there. You know what you are dealing with. But the power that we have, because uh, the power that we have through the Holy Ghost, through Jesus Christ... We can overcome those giants. We can kill those giants. We can conquer those giants. We have the victory. And another thing he talked about in this sermon is we're in a fixed fight. The fight is already won. The battle was already won. We just have to realize that the battle was already won. The enemy already knows the battle was already won, but he tries to get in our, our mind and make us believe that the battle was not already won. We won through Jesus Christ. We've won. We just have to believe that. So... Yes, I, th I thought that was really good. I wanted to share that with you guys. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, you can win. You will win. We're not giving up. So, I am going to... I finished that last one just now. Yay! And um, finished with, for my little task I had to do um, after work here. I am going to go... My husband has a man cave out um, in the back, like on the side of our house. And I'm going to just go sit out there with him and relax for the rest of the evening. Then I'll come back in and pack my lunch. I probably will eat the rest of that. Um, so that meal that I had, so that's a little diner that we have. Um, it's another town over from where I stayed. But it has um, this, it's, it's really popular for this plate. And it's grits at the bottom. Grits, and then on top, it's packed with... Um, Scallops, crab meat, shrimp. My husband's his had um, sausage in it, and then it has the peppers, and and it also has cheese. But it's really good. I was only able to eat what you saw. I have that left over. I was able to eat half, not even half, and I brought the rest home. So I'm gonna warm that back up. I'm gonna doctor it up to get the grits to be nice and smooth again, and I'm gonna eat that for dinner. So no salad tonight, but I will have a salad tomorrow. I am right now drinking my kombucha. This is the mixed berry one. And um, so, yeah, I'll finish, put, you know, make that. I'm going to do that. Ah, got time time. So, I'm going to finish up here real quick. I've got my little notes that I got to do, things I got to do this evening. I'm going to finish that up, this up. I'm almost finished. And then I'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening because I have to get up early in the morning for work tomorrow. So, I will see you guys. Because you already know what I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat the rest of that stuff. <laughs> um, I will see you guys tomorrow, maybe during work or after work. I'm not sure, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Friday night it was 
one of the rice packets that I got from Aldi's. I don't know if it was in this Aldi's haul or not. So, no, because we went to Walmart in this in this video. So, I'll put a picture of it up here. One of those rice pack, well, half of those, right, half of that rice packet, and it's a chicken flavor. Then I did spinach. Well, spinach was at the bottom. A big thing of spinach at the bottom. The rice, some of that chicken that I did get from Walmart, the rotisserie chicken one and some feta cheese and then I cut up the rest of my cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes in there and put it in there. Let me tell you, that thing was so good. I'm gonna make that again. I'm gonna make that again, probably not in this uh, video, but in another video and I'm gonna show y'all, cause that was good. That's an, that's gonna be another go-to because that was so good. So, um, I showed y'all the ghost protein yesterday too. Yesterday I had the nutter butter. So I ordered the, these were the one, I don't know if you paid uh, or were able to hear it, in the vlog before this when Raya asked about it she was kind of quiet with it but she asked about it and asked if I was going to order it so I ordered the samples I ordered the samples of two samples of each um of the Oreo the Nutter Butter the Chips Ahoy and the cereal milk flavor so I ordered two of each of those and so I'm gonna try the Oreo one here now and and we're so we're trying to figure out which ones we want to get. So Mariah said this one would, did not taste good. I tried the nutter butter yesterday and it was really good. It had like little pieces of the nutter butter cookie in there. Oh, it was so good. So I'm gonna try this one. Mariah has already tried the chips of So she, her choices so far to order the big, you know, containers of it, it would be the chips of and the nutter butter. My choice, definitely the nutter butter was good. It was so good. So good. It has. 25 grams of protein in this one. I think the same for yesterday. It um, it does have a little bit more carbs than my normal one. The other one has like three to four carbs. This has seven. I mean, you know, I, probably because of the, the pieces of Oreo or the pieces of nut butter or whatever in there. So I'm gonna try this out. We'll see how this is. I got my little bit of almond milk here to put it in. Um, and so, did I say that already? We're on the way to Mariah's basketball tournament. Uh, it's back there. Basketball tournament, they played yesterday. I wasn't able to go because I had to go to work. And so, they won both games yesterday. So, we're headed there again right now because they play the next game. And if they win this game, then they'll play in the championship. So, I'll take you guys with us there. <laughs> Jersey Mike's. She had good defense and they won. Oh good and they won. And they won so we're gonna go in here and get some Jersey Mike's. Let me show you the score. This is a championship score. 27 to 21 so they won. So yeah we're back home now. I, I don't know if you can tell but I'm tired. Y'all have been with me for the last week because it is officially Sunday evening now and I started the vlog I think Monday day. So you've been with me for the last seven days and I appreciate that. So this vlog started out with me supposed to be showing y'all like different salads. So I did, I did. And then the weekend hit yesterday, had to go to work. That, I'm telling you, that meal yesterday was still, I'm still thinking about it. I'm gonna probably do it tomorrow. But I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow because I'm tired. I'm tired, and I'm already tired for tomorrow. Y'all get like that sometimes? Be already tired for tomorrow? Yeah. It's a, my woman time, and that's why I'm tired. I'm tired. It just started today, so I'm tired. So, but, um, yeah, so we had a good salad week. Um, just doing the salads once a day. It was a good way to get in more vegetables throughout, you know, the day by having that one salad a day, so that was good. We're going to catch up with each other in the weekly update so stay tuned for that so we can look at my blood sugars throughout how that's been going um 
being with the one salad a day, but then also, you know, incorporating the other things, the protein drinks. So, yes. I don't know if I came back. Did I say that the Oreo, mm, the Oreo was okay. Um, definitely will do the Nutter Butter, and I'm going to try the Chips Ahoy tomorrow for my breakfast. Um, but Mariah says the Oreo, I mean the Nutter Butter and the Chips Ahoy. Hey, guys. Moles is not better than Chipotle, but it's good. He's eating moles right now. That's what we having for dinner. Moles. It's not better than Chipotle, but it's good. Here's mine. So I can take half out and then use the other half for maybe tomorrow's lunch or something. So, the Chips Ahoy one, um, no, the Oreo one we don't have to get, but I'm going to try the Chips Ahoy and see see if we like that. I'm going to definitely get another butter. All right, so, oh, my moat by the meat, the protein that I got inside the moles um, is the white meat. I didn't realize it was going to be a dollar more. He asked me if I want white meat or dark meat. The reason we went to Moe's, Moe's is like a um, Chipotle. I don't know if you got have a Moe's in your area, but it's like Chipotle. And... LG loves Chipotle. He'll go to Chipotle every day if he can. And someone told him that molds was better, so he wanted to try it out. So that's what we went at tonight. Um, and I didn't know that they were going to be charging me a dollar more for white meat. He asked if I wanted white or dark, so I thought it was a choice. But anyways, so yes. Yeah, so, yes, I'm rambling because I'm tired. So let me go. I will see you guys in the weekly update video. Thank you for sticking with me. Remember any negative thoughts that may creep into your mind. Cut it out. Take it out. And um, don't allow it to change your way of thinking. You know who you are. You know what you're trying to do. Remember to speak positive thoughts only to yourself. Speak like some affirmations to yourself. You are victorious. You are strong. You are mighty. You are powerful. You can achieve what you want to achieve. So I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys and God bless. Mm -hmm.